G'day folks. I'm off for uh, some new tyres today. That one's my front D605. It's done about 8,000 I think. There's the rear. That's done about 5. These are a 50-50 tyre. I'm going to put on what I can get. I don't know if anyone's tried buying tyres lately. But uh, there's not a lot of stock around. And some people that do have stock are too busy to fit them. These are really good on road. Um, good enough for me on the trails. I've had no troubles except uh, that day I crashed this in the sand. I have lost the front a few times unexpectedly. So it'll be interesting to compare the new tyres. Hey, g'day folks. As uh, you would have already worked out, I'm heading off to get some uh, new tyres. I'm going for something a little bit more, uh, I don't know what you'd call it, off-road orientated instead of these 50-50s. Just to see if it makes any difference to uh, my riding or if it's just going to prove it's 100% ability and nothing to do with uh, equipment. Bloody ripper of a day here in Adelaide, 28 degrees, the sun shining, the jacarandas are going off, what more do you need? So in case you're wondering where I am, I'm in, uh, I guess I'm near Hawthorne. Nice part of town, close to the city. Not too many vegans. Victoria Avenue, Hyde Park. Definitely wouldn't be any vegans on this road. Lobster and champagne for breakfast around here. Beautiful houses. One for sale. Better put in an offer. So we're on King William Road here. And years ago, what well many, 20, 30 years, I don't know, something like that, they pulled up the bitumen and uh, laid down pavers and you reckon people carried on because driving over pavers was a bit rough but everyone got used to it and then recently they pulled the pavers up and relayed them they even did a poll for all the locals around here do you want bitumen or pavers and everyone wanted the pavers because they'd worried that they would uh, they wouldn't like having a smooth road now yeah anyway I couldn't care less. So they've done a really good job around this part where the restaurants are. They've got all the tables and that person's struggling where they whoop. Yeah, tables here, have a beer. Up there in the distance is uh, what was once Adelaide's tallest building, 32 stories. I reckon there might be a slightly bigger one now. Right, coming up to uh, South Terrace, just on the southern side of town, obviously. Oh, everyone out for a beer at lunchtime. Victoria Square up here. That's the city done, the main part of it. It's not very big. Now we're about to approach the uh, one of the natural wonders of no, uh, what are they called? Man made wonders of the world. This is the eighth man made wonders of the world. We're discussing this over dinner the other night of what number it is Adelaide Oval. 
absolutely amazing place apparently. We talk about this bloody Adelaide Oval uh, like it, uh, I don't know, it's, it's just amazing according to everyone. I've been there, it is nice. We're up there, St Peter's Cathedral. Probably our, I don't know, is it our biggest one here, maybe? Nice looking building. Here we are. Righto, g'day folks, the uh, tyres are fitted. I finished up with a, an M, Pirelli MT21 on the back and a Pirelli Scorpion Rally on the front. I've stuck with the original size rear 120 8018. The first thing I've noticed on this quiet little uh, back street is that, as expected, they're not quite as smooth as the D605, but that's the way it's going to be. I want something a bit better in softer conditions. As I said before, the D605 are excellent on road. Coming back through North Adelaide again. Nice part of town at North Adelaide. Look at that, North Terrace. Might even go up Hindley Street, see what's happening there during the day. Nice and quiet here during the day. Friday night, Saturday night, this is where all the action is apparently. Nightclubs, bars, Coppers, what are they up to? Pulled some guy over. Ah, oh, and a motorbike, what's he done wrong? Deary me. Oh, I just went past KFC. How good does that bloody food smell? Look at this guy, what's on his head? Rundle Mall up there. What do you reckon, I'm going down King William Street, the city of Adelaide, and there's a copper in front of me. What do you reckon if I did a wheelie? Do you reckon he'd notice? That's if I could do a wheelie. I could do them on my pushy. Back in the days of dragsters, back in the 70s, we all rode dragsters. Butterfly handlebars and sissy bars and all that silly stuff. No vegans back then, I'll tell you. They hadn't been invented yet. Oh, look at that guy cutting the copper off. No indicator. Oh, dearie me. Are they going to get him? No, they're not. They let him get away with it. Ho, ho. Lucky. Copper was in there shaking his head, but uh, they're in a good mood. Maybe I would have got away with doing a wheelie. But I tell you what, it smelled good going down there, King William Road, all the cafes. Cooking up some tucker, people out there having a beer. Maybe a shandy or an ouzo and coke. A glass of summer wine perhaps. Back in Victoria Avenue. Okay, so there's the front the 
Pirelli Scorpion Rally 9090-21. Much bigger gaps than the uh, D605. On the back we got the Pirelli MT21. So, that's just a very, very short ride, but uh, not a lot to compare or think about yet or even say. We'll try them out hopefully this weekend.